Hi, boys and girls, Club is Roger. I hope you guys are doing good today. I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this to this in just a couple minutes and only using a couple things. So we're gonna need a marker. We're gonna need a pair of scissors. We're gonna need our piece of cardboard and we're gonna need paint or crayons or anything we got lying around. I use spray paint because that's the only thing I got in my house, but it's not a big deal, all right? So we're gonna start with this. First thing we wanna do, grab our pen, grab our pick cardboard. We're gonna draw whatever we want. So I think I'm just gonna write my name. I only could fit Raj. <laughs> so I'm gonna try again on the other side. That's the beauty of it. It doesn't matter if you mess up, always flip it around. This time I'm gonna just write B. G. Let's see. Boys and Girls Club. All right. Then I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna cut it out and as we cut it out it's okay to make a mistake or two because it's all going to be able to be fixed later so if you cut a little too far don't worry about it if you make a little bit of a mistake it's okay I think the bigger scissors you have the easier it's gonna be but if you don't have big scissors, that's okay. And there's two ways that doing this can work out when you're making a stencil. It's, you can use the letter you cut out and trace around it. Like, where to go? Uh, like this, we can trace it out, put it over the B and trace it out like that, color it in. Or we can use the space we have and color that in. So because I cut a little bit of a hole into where I entered, I'm going to just tape over it just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the G. I think the G is going to be the hardest out of all of them because it has so many curves, but that won't be a huge deal because it's all really simple. And what's important is we make what we make as readable as possible. So we want it easy to understand. We don't want to make it too complicated, especially not like this. If you have um, like a box cutter or a, a little knife, you can do that. But this is the easiest and safest way to do it. Um, and it keeps everything super simple. Simple enough that anyone can do it. And like I said, it's okay if you overcut. It's not that hard but you do have to bend the cardboard a little bit just to get around it. And what really matters is it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking to cut out the letters and trace around those, then you wanna make sure your letters are clean. If you want to cut it out, you wanna make sure that these are clean, okay? And either one is just as easy as the other. It just makes sense what you wanna pay attention to because right now, I don't really mind if I end up cutting the G a little bit because it's gonna get, it's gonna just get, get thrown out for what I'm doing. And that's okay. And just remember, this is not about it being perfect. It's about making it easy to read. So, we're so close. To being done. Just 
like that, and we just gotta do the seat. And I'm taping it because the tape makes it easier to move the cardboard around later. And if I'm painting it, especially if I'm spray painting it, there won't be overspray over it. So I'm going to tape it up, just like that. Just like that. And like that, it says BGC. If I want to make the B have little holes in it, all I got to do is put a piece of tape right there when I'm painting. So now we're going to go from this which is just our stencil, which we can use to trace with a pen or a marker, um, to this, which is what we're gonna color it in and we're gonna paint. And just like that, a day later, you can tell I'm wearing different stuff. It looks like this. It got a little messy. We had a little bit of overspray, you know, and that happens just like it can happen to anybody. You spill your paint make a little bit of mess that's cool um, all I did was trace around it and we got a cool little cool little BGC logo